people, yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? We back, back with another banger. This is special right here, too, mind you. Episode 20. We banging them out every Friday. Make sure y'all tell a friend to tell a friend. Regular guys dot irregular calls on YouTube and regular guys dot irregular calls on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow me on the gram so y'all can see the up and coming videos. That's gonna give you like a little sneak peek. And besides that, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, put on a notification bell, follow those instructions, and you're gonna be a okay. Again, it's regular guys got irregular cars. I try to tell y'all I'm not gonna disappoint you. Every Friday, we're gonna hit y'all in the head with another bank. So just keep that in mind. So, I'm not gonna talk your head off. I wanna introduce you guys to the owner of this vehicle that we're about to see. Man. I'll be speechless, for real. I'll really be speechless, man, because I'll be like, these cars, this is just, it just amazes me every time, every time we do another episode. But again, I don't wanna get on no, no long rant. I'm gonna get right into it. Introduce y'all to the man of the hour. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, baby? We made it. We made it. Yes, sir. We did it. Man, I appreciate you. Absolutely. Gotta say that, first and foremost. Definitely appreciate you for coming out, man. Take your time. Now, before we get to it, I gotta ask you. Let people know what's your name, what city and state you represent, down with a car team, let them know that as well. Yeah, so uh, my name is Gabe. Uh, I represent Bayonne. Uh, it's a great city in Bayonne. Bayonne, what? What New state? Jersey, New Jersey, baby. New yeah, Jersey. we in Jersey. So, yeah, definitely. And, uh, yeah. Car club, you got yeah, me. Yeah, we in Excalibur. <laughs> ah, I can't uh, forget uh, that. You know, yeah. and, and that's, that's about to be everything. That's what it is. Y'all heard it here first. So that being said, what's the year make and model of the car? Yeah, so uh, it's a 2018 Dodge Challenger. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a V6. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 2018 Dodge Challenger. Now, you said it's a V6, but when you see it, <laughs> I don't know if y'all going to believe them. Because I don't, I don't really, I'm still kind of skeptical. But, you know, maybe when we look under the engine bed and all that, we might say, ah, That's yeah. my baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> exactly. So um, before we show the car, before we, before we show your baby, I gotta ask you, because this channel is based on regular guys with irregular cars, I want you to let the people know what you do for a living because a lot of people see these videos, or before they even see the video, they see these cars, right? Maneuvering through the world, through traffic. And they think it's like so out of reach to attain. And one of my key things that I want people to know is that this channel is based on regular guys. We're not the Billionaire Boys Club or nothing like that. So just know that everything that y'all see, depending on how y'all move and plan and do certain things, all these things are attainable, man. So let them know what you do. Yeah, so I'm actually in sales, believe it or not. And I've done sales for a while. So uh, just basically, your average guy, you know, just, sure. I do uh, sales. Solar sales, nice. home sales. So okay, it's, it it really isn't you know something that the average person can't get, right? It's just all about what you want, yeah, and what your your pocket can hold, right? You know? So definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. I appreciate that. I appreciate you letting the people know that you know y'all can get these things, man. It's all about being determined too. Like if you if you want it, you set your mind to it, set a goal, and just get it. You know, do what it takes to get it. Um, what made you go with the Dodge Challenge for cars? Good question. You know, believe it or not, uh, when I was a kid, okay, you know, my, the car of my dreams was a Challenger. And you know, you see people with all types of cars, and, and to each their own. Right. But right. I wanted the Challenger. Yeah. And growing up, I had you know hoopies, mm -hmm. and I said one day. I'll have it. Yeah. And one day, I went and I got it. You got That's it. it. That's it. You got what you wanted. That's it. That's the bottom line. All right. Well, speaking of what you wanted, I want you to show the people the car. You ready? Absolutely, yes. Let's do it, man. 
Sheesh. This thing right here, bro. Here's the baby. This is it. This is what you call a baby. This is my baby. We got the full grown monster right here. <laughs> this is Word. my uh, Punisher. Baby. Punisher. What's going on exterior wise with the Punisher? So, I mean, we have, as you can see, our Punisher decal. Yes. Um, Punisher comes on the tires. So, uh, I decided that when I first saw this color, uh -huh. Immediately, I said it has to be the Punisher, mm. you know, because to me it just it just fits so well. Right, right. So, um, and you said I'm gonna stop you right yeah. there though, right quick. You said when you saw this color, you thought the Punisher. Yes. So this is the actual color of the car. This is not a wrap. This is how it this is. This is actually the actual color. It's wow. this, uh, Destroyer Gray. Uh huh. Um, and Dodge actually stopped making Destroyer Gray. Okay. And uh, they actually. A different color called uh, Rhino Gray now. Okay. But yeah, I mean, this color is, I just think it's beautiful. It is. And, and it's not a color that you see all the time. Facts. Right. Right. Okay. Sorry for that interruption. So, what else you got going on? Uh, well, as you can see, you know, I have my, my emblems yeah. with the uh, Punisher and the 305, which means, you know, 305 horsepower, which comes stock. I was gonna uh, ask you that too. Ah, so that's the horse power. Yeah. Stock. Stock. Gotcha. Yeah. So gotcha. that's what it comes with. Stock. Um, and as you can see, I I did some more decals on the hood. Mm -hmm. uh, got my logo on the windshield. Nice. And soon to come will be the logo of the club. Nice. Excalibur. Make sure we look that up. Excalibur yeah, yeah. Club. For sure. For sure. This is there right here. So I gotta ask, oh, so you got, well, what's this? We got the, um, what do you call it, the front lip, or? Yeah, so this is the front lip that was added mm -hmm. uh, as well. And um, the lights. lights. Yes. Yeah. Now, speaking of lights, this second headlight right here, or is it? What, what is this? Is this a, is, it looks like, what's going on with that? This right here, if you can see, it has a little uh, hole there. It's actually to produce more air. Mm. Uh, being that the original intake for you know car lovers as you know has a stock intake right. that I changed um, you know, to make it a little bit better it produces a little bit more horsepower as well mm -hmm. um, I would have never known that it looks like it was like another light but then when you, you know what actually it, it does go on as okay well. There's a, there is a light that there's goes a light that's yeah. in there as well yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's crazy. That's still right there. Definitely. What else you got going on exterior wise? So as you can see, I have the side skirts. Yes. Uh, I added on the side skirts, uh, the mud flaps. Nice. Now it looks like it sit up higher than your average challenger though. Ooh. It actually does. Um, and stock uh, tires leave a disgusting gap. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was actually putting 275s in the back and 255s in the front. Um, if you actually go to your, like, if I, if I actually drive it or pull up next to your regular Challenger, it actually looks like it sits up a little high. Yeah, for sure. It looked like it just got pretty thin. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. That's all. Awesome. Now, was it a reason for you to get the extra chunky tires? Or? Uh, actually, there was. It's because, for me, it actually hugs the ground. Mm -hmm. um, at a higher speed or make uh, turns, and the tires actually last longer. Okay, so you feel it different. Oh, absolutely. Nice. Let's see, what, what are these called? Right? So, uh, this is the louver. Uber. Yeah, and a lot of people are skeptical of getting it at first because they assume that um, you're not going to be able to see as well. Right. Does, know, it, but does it affect that? Actually, it doesn't. And you're able to actually see perfectly. Okay. Really? Which is surprising, you know, but you can. You see very clearly. Um, and I tell you what, in the wintertime, mm -hmm. it's just, it's cool. It's not as, uh, it is cool. Right. In the summertime, it's not as Hot. Okay. Um, but it is dark. It is dark. And that's why I like it. In the back, it's dark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it gives it a whole different... I, don't, I think 
Honestly speaking, I haven't seen any other challenges with that, with the Louvre one. I'm sure probably there's some out there, but I, me personally, I haven't seen any other challenges. So. Yeah, and then I added the, uh, the wicker bell. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I have this, if you notice this here, and you're wondering, well, why do you have U.S. Air Force? Right. That's on uh, my son's behalf. He's in uh, Air Force as we speak. Mm. And that's dedicated to him. Dope. Go Air Force all the Go way. Go Air Force, for real. Dope, that's what's up. That's, that's really what's up. Diffuser? So I got the, yep, the diffuser. You know, and I gotta say that everything that you do see, it was done by me. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I, 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 Hands on with it? Yes, sir. Sheesh! That, that says a lot. That says it's a how lot. how you save money. Facts. You know? how you save money. A lot of people think, well, you know, you're spending a lot. Right, right, right. You know, but if you get the parts and you do it yourself, I gotta say, what you're doing really does help. Uh -huh. and YouTube helps a lot. Yeah, so that's yeah. how I learned. Facts. You can learn a lot. Absolutely. You definitely can learn a lot. Just put it on, check it out, and see how other people did it. And that's it. Step by step, so get it like, done. Which goes back to what we were saying, you know, it is obtainable. It is obtainable. You're right. If you do it yourself, you're saving all that labor cost that you're not going to have to pay. You just got to put a little sweat, ingenuity into things and so you have it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you have it right there. Anything else you got going on exterior-wise or we covered the whole? I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's look in the inside. You got anything going on inside? I do. Yeah. So if you come around, you'll notice that I have, you know, uh, my carbon fiber. Yes. that I add in. Um, it looks like it's stick shift, and right? it's, uh -huh. but it's automatic. Is that right? Yes, sir. I get that a lot. They're like, oh, it's, I, I haven't seen a V6 in stick shift. Right, right, right. It's not a stick shift. It's actually it's automatic. It's automatic? Yes, sir. So you can see my phone as well. <laughs> Yo. That's the emergency punisher line. Yo, right? that's the punisher <laughs> line. If he pull up that red phone, it's a problem. Now, it does work. And, it's, and it really works. It works. Yeah, so I see you got it work. plugged in like it's plugged the wire is plugged yeah, into something yeah. more. So you really telling me you made calls on I have made calls and actually if you actually go yeah. on to this man's site, yes. look up the video from Kristen. She is my witness. <laughs> she has been my test every time I right. you know somebody asks me, Hey, does it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call Kristen and I'm like, Kristen, I need you for a test. Yo, that's <laughs> crazy. That's wow right there. So I, I did my seat, I, I got these seat covers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and the seat covers, I got them uh, made to match my uh, hood problem. Uh huh. So you got the seat covers like custom done? Correct. Nice, nice, that's it. And they got the real five on the seat. Yes. And I noticed the little armrest too. You got the Punisher emblem as well, yes, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. See that. Yeah, you didn't skip a beat. And hold on, floor match too. Absolutely. To floor match, so. Listen, man, I'm paying attention, bro. I'm definitely paying attention. We're not skipping nothing. And it looks like you got some custom red, um, your, your gas pedal and all that. Yeah, the gas I pedal. Gas. I still, you know, believe it or not, I still have to do the, uh, the brake pedal. Uh -huh. Just little by little. Little you know? by little. Nah, no, that's crazy. That's dope right there. Your, your AC vents. I see that got the red. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it, man. That's nice. And I kept my my son actually had uh, two dog tags made by accident. Really? So he gave me. Oh wow. His dog tag. His extra. Wow. Dog tag. How'd you find the Punisher? The Punisher, uh, what do you call those? The, with the, with the, like the um, air freshener. You found that easily? Actually, that was a gift. Is that right? Yeah, that was a gift. That's um, dope. My so mother actually gets that Mom to me. gave you that? She actually found it and she was like, look what I got. And I said, that's perfect, you know? Yeah, color wise, everything is perfect. Yeah. She said, well, it might, you know, the scent might go, but I'm like, it's not about the scent. Right. It's, nah, it's that's hard. Way. That's hard, right? There. And, like, now I don't know if you were going to talk about it, but I see you got the miniature, like yes. the Hot Wheels joint. Yes, <laughs> I do. And you know what? Um, I definitely uh, am 
talking to a buddy of mine. Uh -huh. uh, whose brother actually customizes cars. Okay. Yeah, and he's gonna actually customize mine to look the little model to look like mine. So wait a minute, does he he customize toy cars? Or yes. Really? Yeah. So he's gonna make a miniature version of of, of, of mine. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. That's soon as it comes. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's in the future, y'all. Future plans. Future plans. Yeah, that's crazy. Now, did you touch audio in the joint? Actually, I, I did, uh, not much, mm -hmm. but uh, I do have two 12s in the back mm -hmm. uh, and uh, 1400 watt amp. 1400 watt amp? Yeah. That's serious. It's not as loud as. You know, you might have heard, but okay. it's, it's deep enough for me. Yeah, yeah. To go with it. Definitely. Uh, I definitely plan on redoing my interior speakers. Mm -hmm. So that's next. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Now let's take a look at the performance. You touch performance at all? I have. So uh, underneath the hood, uh, I have a, I replaced my intake with the intake. Okay. Nice. Oh, this is real nice right here. Wow. And you did all this yourself as well? Uh, With the whole painting, the painting of the um, engine bay, how you got it set up like that? Yeah, so this originally was black. Really? Yeah. And okay. I ended up getting two different paint cans mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and trying to mix the paint to make to it. Make it Close, something close. Close to how your paint job is. Yeah. You came real close. Like, I would have thought this was like how it came actually, but this is hard, man. I like how you got the punishes. You got the punishes. Yes. That's dope. And that cold air intake. Oh, wait a minute, man. See, now you're getting fancy. <laughs> now you want to get fancy and do a light show. You got a light show in the engine bay? That's different. That's really irregular. Night, it really lights up. Yeah. See, people, that's why I see. I'm starting to get real good at what I do. That's how I know. Because <laughs> when I be driving and when I'm moving around in the world and I see certain cars, I'll be like, that. That's irregular. And somebody else be like, nah, that's just a hooked up car. And I'll be like, no, I swear to you, it's irregular. And if I get this person on the channel, you're going to see why. And boom. Stuff like this is not just everyday stuff like you got a light show going on in engine yeah and, and, and i wish dope. i could show you uh my uh the lights i have underneath right right right, right. Like, it's still daytime yeah. still so it's not gonna really show but what you showing right now definitely is definitely holding down the fort this so with the tune and everything being oh you got a tune too yeah it's about three three hundred and forty five right now uh-huh so, 345 again, it, it comes stock at 305. Right. But with the two that I've, I've gotten, it's about 345 right now. Nice. Nice. Beastie. So he wasn't lying, y'all. This really is a six cylinder. But um, pushing 345, that's kind of heavy. That's kind of heavy. That's kind of heavy. So let me ask you based on all the mods that you've done thus far, right? Was there anything that you've done to the car that you said, if I was to do this over or do another car, I would not do this because it's a headache? That's a good question. That? Yeah, uh, that would have to be the tire stickers. Ah. Yeah, I, I, I did that before. It came uh -huh. out terrible. It's very difficult to do. Yeah. Um, so, never again. Never I'm not again. the first person that told me that, too. That's crazy. <laughs> For real. Somebody else told me that. Like, look, man. I tried to do it, and halfway through, I was like, nah, I gotta get a professional. This is way too much work. And, I, and again, that was the reason why I did it, to try and, you know, save a little bit. Yeah. But some things, yeah. you just gotta get professional. Facts. Facts. Unless you got, you on vacation or something, and you have nowhere to be or nothing else to do for like three, two weeks or whatever the case may be. If that's the case, maybe. But otherwise, you got to go to work. You got stuff to do. You got the rest of your life. So it's like, yo, let me drop this to them and let them bang it out. But yeah, I totally get it. For sure. For sure. So speaking of time-wise and what it took, how long did it take you to do so far what you did to your club? Yeah, so, I mean, just having that time, trying to, you know, between work and home. Yeah. You know, having time with, with, with you know, my 
other family had mm-hmm. scouted with Carla. Mm-hmm. Um, it took me around three years. Nice. Yeah, so you together. took your time. I took my time. I took yep. my time. Um, and even though it, internally I wanted to hurry up and get it done, right? Um, I had to pace myself. Fast. So definitely, I tell anyone, you know, anyone that um, is worried about finances and wanting their dream car, you can get it. Just take your time. Take your, take your time with it because there might be one thing that you do and then you might say I don't like it you mm-hmm. gotta scrap it right you know so definitely take your time definitely I, I definitely agree I agree with that speaking of what you did to the car thus far and the time that it took you do you have any other future plans for it I do actually so um, I do plan on dropping it about an uh, inch and a half mm. uh, okay and Eventually, uh, I do plan on getting suicide doors. Suicide doors? Yeah, yeah. Different. That's the plan. Different. Okay. Yikes. Yeah, that's big plan. Yes, yes. Suicide doors and then dropping it down. That's going to change the look. Time and effort. Yeah, it's not a lot of time and effort. A lot of time and effort. So, um, damn, I think we covered just about everything, man. Is awesome. it, um, anybody you want to shout out? Absolutely. Guys. Shout out to Excalibur Car Club. Um, look us up. Um, they're on Instagram. Uh, check them out. I definitely want to shout out uh, some of the people at my car club. Uh, yeah. Look up Cash, yeah. uh, Cash Camaro, Kristen. Uh, you know, there's just a couple. Yeah. But Hemi God is another one. Mm. And uh, definitely, you know, Jersey G. Jersey G, y'all better tap in. <laughs> I appreciate you, my boy. Thank real. you so much. I yeah, appreciate man, it. It's it an honor to be pleasure. here. Facts, man. It was my pleasure, for real. Guys, I need y'all to do me that favor. Tune in every Friday. Y'all gonna be pleasantly surprised with the joints that we put out there. So just know that. Follow me on Instagram, regularguys.irregularcars. You're gonna get a sneak peek of the up and coming videos probably for like two or three weeks ahead that being said make sure y'all subscribe to the channel regular guys that irregular cars like the video put on the post notifications and tell a friend to tell a friend like i always say love y'all peace